Yes, yeah. I'll give you this. I don't think this chair oh, or this you. table could be damaged. But thank you. All right. So here's my card. Great, thanks. There you go. We'll just get settled in here and then we'll get started. Sure. So, uh, so first what I'd like to do is kind of go through um, some background material sure. to make sure that we're both on the same page, why you're here Great. and all that. Of course. Uh, and, and, uh, and let you know how you fit into the grand okay. scheme of things. All right. So, uh, so thanks for coming here. So John and I uh, are attorneys and, and work at this law firm uh, and we do workplace law. So uh, we've been asked by the board of uh, the museum to do an independent and objective investigation into the concerns that were brought forward to the board's attention. So we don't uh, work at the museum, you know, gotcha. um, and I don't know you. I don't know, uh, I don't think I know any of the employees uh, okay. at the museum. I do know um, some of the board members and okay. I recognize some of their names. But I don't know any of them that well, uh, okay. so we're so we. Uh, that's why we were asked to do this is because we don't have any uh, kind of skin in the game, if you will. Gotcha. All right, so you should share uh, the facts that you know and any mm -hmm. thoughts you have about uh, the subjects we're going to discuss. And I want to mention this to you too. You know, you shouldn't assume that because I don't ask about something, I don't want to know. Keep in mind. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't know any of the employees of the museum. I've only been there a few times. I'm, I actually live in the Cleveland area, so go to the Cleveland Museum of Art often. Um, so if I ask you about A and B, and you're thinking, oh, here comes C and D, but okay. I never ask, you need to say, hey, there's more. There's more to okay. that. And so I can add that at that time? Yes, okay. yeah, yeah. You, okay. yeah. Feel free to dialogue, Okay. Uh, not just uh, kind of take it all in. Okay. Um, now ideally things that you share with me should be things that you either saw, heard, or read kind of firsthand. Okay. Um, uh, but if you know of something uh, through another party and you think it's important, it would still be okay if you told me about it, but just tell me that I heard this second hand. Sure. And, here, and here's who you should talk to to learn more about that. Okay. Uh, just make sure to distinguish that you're not spreading rumors or whatever. Of course. All right. Um, all right, so we welcome your participation uh, to discuss and recount the relevant facts and circumstances. The only thing that I will say as a caution is, which should be self-evident, but, um, you, but you need to be truthful with me. Yes. And if you were not truthful with me, that would be a violation of the museum's policies, not right. co cooperating truthfully in an investigation. Uh, confidentiality is also important. Um, because it helps preserve the integrity and the investigation and what I mean by that is is if you were to leave and then have a long detailed discussion with a bunch of other employees about what we discussed then those employees maybe already were interviewed or are soon to be interviewed they might tell me something that you told them because they can't keep straight oh well did I hear that from from you because I heard it from in the interview, or did I actually know that? So it's important that you keep it kind of on a need to know okay. basis uh, there. Um, okay, so we're so I'm not making a, a audio recording of this, okay. and there's no cameras in here. I'm not making okay. a video recording. Are you making any recordings? Okay. Um, all right. So so uh, the, this is also very important. The museum's policies, and I forgot my policy book, but I was going to ask you about that in a minute, and in some cases the law prohibit retaliation against individuals like you who either raise concerns or participate in an investigation or both. 
So if, if uh, we are not telling any members of management that you're here, I don't even know your name, at least not yet, we'll get to that in a second, um, but if for some reason you believe that someone was treating you differently because they thought that you were here, or they thought right. you talked, participated, or they thought that you were one of the people that uh, sent the email in, that's why I gave you my card. You should contact us and say, hey, you know, this has never happened to me before, X, Y, and Z. Um, because that, that is, that's wrong and it's prohibited. Uh, all right, so that's, that's much of the kind of the introductory material. Um, do you have any questions before we get into a little more of the substance? Well, you did mention that you would speak to our identities being known. Um, and I was just curious if you could just tell me a little bit more about yeah, that. Yeah, sure. So, so I don't know what your name is. I don't know what your job is. I'm going to ask you those things. Okay. Of course, you're an adult and right. you can tell me what you feel comfortable telling me. Um, uh, you know, as, so, so we will get, um, we have here the, the group's complaints. It might have looked differently than this because this is a copy and paste. Sure. That I'm, not, that I'm making notes on, but, um, and we are in the midst of conducting several interviews with people like you, um, and and we are not sharing with. I'm not going to share with you things that other people told me. I'm not going to share with them, okay. other people, what you told me. Okay. We, John and I, will not share with management of the museum. Okay what you or any of the other people told me and identify it back to you. Okay. Because that would, I know that's important that, that to some, not all, but to many folks that they keep their uh, identity uh, anonymous and they don't, aren't, aren't um, it isn't known that they have made specific complaints about folks in leadership, management or leadership. I'm using those terms in Sure. Okay. Now, we haven't, um, so, so at the end of this, we will, we will report to the board, not to leadership, right. but to the board, uh, what we found and what, essentially what we found, what that means, and what we recommend that the museum, the board, do about it. Um, and we and and at least we're planning not to disclose anything other than these identifiers uh, to the board. Now, now that may change at some point, but that's what the plan is now. We have no plans though to disclose anyone's identity okay. to management okay. under any circumstances. Okay. Um, Where I just know that myself, and I'm only speaking for myself, I'm fearful of retaliation. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just been an incredibly pervasive, toxic environment, and um, I've seen many people be targeted mm -hmm. um, for questioning things that are brought up in this letter. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I'm just still feel fearful of, even though um, management is aware that there are repercussions for retaliation. So. Yeah. So. Yes, so, so if you... I'm just very apprehensive still, Yeah, no, I understand, so. I understand. Um, I understand that it was difficult, uh, I'm sure, to kind of do, to make the complaint, and difficult to decide whether to participate. Uh, and so, so we won't, when we, when we, at, when we question uh, leadership about the complaints, we will do so in a way that doesn't, First of all, and this is absolute, doesn't reveal anybody's name, or or you know you could use a. If, if I don't even know what you do for a living yet, but when you tell me if you're the only person that does that, we aren't going to make it. So we say, oh well, the whoever you know the uh, advancement associate. If there's only one of those, right. making that up. Uh, yeah, just said, because it is so small and there are people who are only like doing this yes, one particular right. job. So we're going to not give any identities and we're not going to ask questions such that it reveals who gave us the information. Okay. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard what you had to say yet, though. Right. It's possible 
if someone, and again, this is a hypothetical, if because no one has complained about this, I want to make that's why I'm saying this because it is hypothetical. If someone had complained that a certain employee had um, uh, had pulled their hair, for example, okay, let's use that. No one has complained about that. The person that we still have to ask them if if that happened, right? right. So in that case, they would not. It might be attributable, sure. but that doesn't mean it, we balancing that an anonymity right. and, the, and the confidentiality, it's like, well, that's still serious. If we have somebody in leadership that thinks the way you get somebody's attention is going around and yanks on their hair, we would need to bring that to their attention. Sure. But otherwise, we're going to make the questioning so that it retains the anonymity that okay. the group is looking, okay. is looking for. Got it. Okay. Um, all right. So that, so that is that. That's a good question. All right, so so let's um, so let's start with this. So uh, so you so I pref I would prefer that you tell me what your name is, but you don't have to. Um, um, and if you don't want to decide until we're done, that's okay with me too. Because I can I, I I know even before you got here that it's difficult to do this, and I can see just by you talking to me that this is uncomfortable as I would expect it would be sure. um, so anyhow if I could perhaps hold off mm -hmm. <laughs> until fine. the end and so, see how I'm feeling yes that's fine okay okay uh, perfectly good uh, uh, there's another thing in the letter detailing and this is in May so this is a couple months ago now about um, talking about accurate people from Akron in the community don't have cell phones and if they do it's a gang gangsta throwaway was the term. Did, yeah. you, did you witness that? I did witness that. Okay. And that so, was in our weekly education department director's office meeting. Now there is a date here of May 14th. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, talked about the inside out program which, yes. okay, this is the right meeting, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and Mark, the director said, uh, that's quoted here, I mean really how many people in Akron actually have access to a cell phone and if they do it's probably a gangster throwaway phone. You witnessed that? Yes. Okay. Who else was present for that? Our um, education department staff members, um, Jack, like I said, there are four of us. Um, likely all four of us were present in addition to Jen and Mark. Okay. Was there any of the discussion, any other discussion that followed that? That's, that is uh, Not that I relevant. can recall, but I do remember that being said uh, okay. vividly. All right. Now, I don't want to tell you what I think he was talking about, because, but I think it's probably the same. Why don't you just tell me what you thought that he was trying to convey? Well, I certainly uh, think it implied something about race, mm -hmm. um, and also the way that he just talks about the population of Akron in general and black people. Um, That's just how I felt about it. it. It just felt like he was certainly implying that, especially based on how he talks about um, demographics of Akron and people who live in certain neighborhoods. And I know where the Inside Out program has existed mm -hmm. in the past. And um, he was implying based on like those locations and neighborhoods. What neighborhoods are it has? Uh, I... I was not at the museum when the program existed, but from what I can recall, they had it in neighborhoods like Kenmore, Middlebury. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't want to say other neighborhood. I don't want to falsify not, information. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and don't be over. I appreciate your sensitivity to being accurate. Yeah. But I'm uh, sorry. You just have to understand. I'm like so afraid to say or do anything wrong. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, yeah, you would have to know, 
I mean, we have to tell you that so that you know that you have to be truthful. I mean, but if you good faith to make a mistake, right. it isn't what that okay. referring to. It's like <laughs> just very you, nervous. It's like if you just made something up out of whole cloth, yeah. not right. mistakenly said one word instead of the other. Right. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Um, okay, so we're done with that, uh, unless there's anything else you want to add. Uh, I can't really remember anything that also was said specifically after that or that mm -hmm. generally he just talks about black people of Akron in a, a derogatory way referring to them as like Summit Lake people this like it's I don't know okay and that is something that you've heard him say Summit yes. Lake people yes okay. if you had other examples like that that would be that, you know, uh, that would be relevant. I can't think of it. it. If for some reason anything comes up, mm -hmm. can I somehow let you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So...